Hello, first graders. I missed you so much, and I am glad to be teaching you today. So, if you know my name, my name is Miss Uriosti, but you can go ahead and call me Miss Yu. Okie dokie, first grade friends. Today, for math, we are going to be learning. We're going to be learning. We're going to go over first grade, module two, lesson 10. Right? And just like it says right there, it's being taught today by Miss Uriostegui. So, Miss you. So, today, our math schedule for the day. So, we're going to do some math fluency. We're going to skip count by fours. We're going to do some fact family of four. We're going to go over our objective, our lesson, and we're going to do some practice problems. Nice. And as you can see, it's all outer space thing today. So first we're gonna skip count by fours. So here I have the hundreds chart and it's also in your learning guide. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you where the learning guide is. Oh, sorry about that. So in your learning guide, this is what you'll see. You'll see module two, lesson 10. And it's gonna be all the way in the bottom where it says want more resources or practice. So it's gonna be click there. The hundreds chart is going to be number three in the resource, and you could just highlight, copy, and paste that, and you'll get the hundreds chart. Okay. Okay. So today we're skip counting by fours. So here we go. So I'm going to show you. So it goes. So we're going to, you can whisper the other ones, but when you get to the fourth, one, I want you to say it out loud. Listen to me first, and then we'll do it together, okay? But first, I want to, I want you to listen to me, so I'll do it. Ready? Ready? Look. One, two, three, four. Eight. Just like that. And then I'll continue. I'll do it all the way to 20. Ready? 12, 16, 20. So I want you to do it just like that, okay? So now, go ahead and say the numbers with me, okay? And don't worry, I'm gonna go ahead and whisper them with you, and then we'll try to do some faster ones, okay? But first, let's do it nice and slow. Ready? Put your finger on your number. Ready? One, two, three, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Ready? Now let's try to do it a little bit faster. If you want, you can keep having your finger on the screen as we go like that. But now I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say the numbers, okay? So, ready? Four. Eight. 12, 16, 20. All right, let's do it again. Just a little bit faster, ready? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20 of applause. Now let's try doing it backwards. 
So for this one, we're going to start at 20. And we're going to go all the way till we get to 4, and then we can say 0, OK? So you can go ahead and watch me, and I'll go ahead and show you. And then we can do a couple together, all right? Ready? So we'd start at 20, right? So it'd be 20, 20, and then you go 19, 18, 12, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 0. Okay, now let's go ahead and do it together. Ready? So let's start at 20, and I'll have my pointer here so that you can follow along, okay? Start at 20 and we want to go all the way to zero. Counting skip, counting backwards by four. Ready? It's 20. 16. 12. 8. 4. Zero. Okay, let's do it faster. Ready? So I'm just gonna go like that. So I'm not gonna go like that. I want you to remember them. Okay, ready? Let's go. 20, 16, 12, 8, 4, Zero. Nice. Okay, let's go. I'm not going to go ahead and use the pointer. Now I want you to do it with me, but no pointer. You can point if you want, but I'm not going to use it. Ready? Ready, set, go. 20, 16, 12, 8, 4. Nice round of applause. I'm proud of you for working hard. Okay, so now that we know how to skip count by four all the way to 20, and we know how to count backwards by four from 20 to zero, let's look at the fact family of four. Okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna show you the fact family. And then I want, and then we're going to do some matching, okay? So first, let's think. What is 4 plus 1? 4 plus 1. Now, if you don't know, you can go ahead and use your fingers. So it'd be 4 plus 1. Count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, four plus one is five. So then what's four plus two? So it's four, five, six. So then what would be four plus three? You can use your fingers if you want. Four plus three. Four, five, six, seven. Now, do we see a pattern there? Yeah, look. So it's five, six, seven. So it's increasing by how much? By one because you're only adding one more, right? So if you're adding one more, so what would be four plus four? If you add one more to seven, what is it? Yeah, eight. Okay, so now that we know that, what is four? 
plus five. Add one more. Yeah, it's nine. Four plus five is nine. All right, so it's making it easier, right? But these are the fact families of four. Condition. So then what's four plus six? Add one more to the nine because you're, you're adding one more to the five because five plus one is six. So then what is four plus six? Yeah, it's 10. So then what is four plus seven? Yes, it's 11. And four plus eight? So seven plus one is eight. So then you just add one more to the 11 and it becomes 12. Almost done, we need two more. So then add one more to the eight and it becomes nine. So four plus nine is 13. So then what's four plus 10? You add one more to the nine, one plus nine is 10. So 13 plus one is 14. So these are the fact families of four. And if you wanna go ahead and copy them down on a piece of paper so they should remember them, it's okay. You can go ahead, pause the video. And when you're done, you can go ahead and unpause. writing so let's go over our objective so our objective is to solve problems with add-ins of seven eight and nine so what does that mean it means that we're going to solve problems that have those numbers already in them. So our problem could be seven plus four, or it could be eight plus three. So it just will have these add-ins. It will have seven, eight, or nine, okay? But why is this important? So it's important because it helps us learn new strategies that make it easier for us to find the answer to the problem. So instead of counting and using our fingers every single time, we're gonna have these new strategies where we can go ahead and solve the problem with just our head. That's amazing, huh? Okay, so let's look at this problem. I'm gonna put myself on the sun. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at this problem. It says not a four plus nine equals, hmm. Then in the bottom it has 10 plus hmm equals the length, hmm. Okay, let's, let's um, use stars to represent our numbers, okay? So let's do the four first, ready? One, two, three, four. So here we have our four stars. Now let's look here at the nine, because this is the add in nine. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So here we have the nine for this nine, and we have the four stars for the four. So I don't wanna go ahead and count all of these. So I know that I can try to solve this one first because adding 10 plus another add-in is easier for me. So it has a missing add-in right here. So let's make 10. Ready? So we know these are nine. How many more do I need? 
yeah, I need one more. So let's borrow that. There we go. Now we know that all of the ones in the circle represent this 10 because they're 10 stars. And all of the ones outside of the circle represent this missing add-in. So how many is there? Let's count them. One, two, three. So there's three. Nice. So 10 plus three equals, hmm. Well, 10 plus three is 13, yeah. So then four plus nine is equal to 13 because these are nine and these are the four and we count at the same amount for this one, right? So it's 13, nice, hard working. Now, look at this one. It's the same problem as it was in the previous slide, right? Look, four says four plus nine, and it wants you to decompose it to make the bond. And then right here, and look, four plus nine. So we know the answer is 13, right? Because we just solved it. But now let's use a different strategy. Let's use the, the number bond, okay? So we can decompose this. So four, what two numbers make four? Okay, yeah, you're right. Two and two make four, but what other numbers make four? Three and one. And which one should we use? The three plus one, or should we use the two plus two? Three plus one is the right answer because nine needs one more to become 10. So here we have three and one. So if you add three plus one is four, but we needed the one to make the nine into a 10, right? So nine plus one makes 10. So then this missing add-in is what's left over, the three. So 10 plus three equals 13, which means that four plus nine is 13. See how this has less steps? We don't have to put every single star on there. We just have to use the number bond by decomposing the number and finding how we can make nine into 10. Okay, now let's do this one. So we're gonna do it just by counting the stars and then we're gonna do the number bond and decompose the numbers, okay? So here we have six plus eight equals mm, and 10 plus mm equals mm. So let's draw our six stars. And remember, you can pause the video whenever you need to catch up or if you need more time to solve a problem. So. Let's just go ahead and do this, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. So here are six stars. Now let's do the eight, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So here are eight stars. So how many more do we need eight to make it into 10? Because six plus eight is kind of hard to solve, but I know how to solve my tens. Yeah, you need two more stars, right? So let's go ahead and circle these eight with two more. So now all the stars that are in this circle represent the 10. And all the ones that are outside, all the white stars are outside, represent the missing add-in. So let's count them. One, two, three, four. So how many are there? 
four. Nice work. So 10 plus four equals, hmm, what's 10 plus four? 14. So if 10 plus four is equal to 14, what's six plus eight? Yeah, it's 14. I'm writing. So now we're gonna decompose it. So it's the same problem, but we're doing it with a different strategy. So we're not putting all our stars up there, okay? So we're gonna break, we're gonna decompose the six. So we're gonna make it to number bonds. So what two numbers make six? Yeah, three plus three makes six. But what other numbers? Think, what number does eight need to make 10? Two. So two plus what makes six? Yes, four. So four plus two makes six. See, four, five, six. So then eight and two make 10. So what's our missing add -in? Four, it's our last number there, so four. 10 plus four equals 14. So then what's six plus eight? 14, do you see how finding the number bonds is a lot faster than having all our stars? Yeah, and we're solving, we're solving problems with the add in eight here. Okay, next problem. Oh. Okay, so here we have the problem seven, plus four equals mm. And in the bottom we have 10 plus mm equals mm. So let's go ahead and draw the stars for the seven. Ready? So they're gonna be the white stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna draw the four, ready? One, two, three, four. So how many more stars does seven need to make 10? Three, it needs three more stars. So let's circle three. There we go. So we know, so these, the ones that are circled represent the 10. So the ones that are not represent the missing add-in. How many are, are in the are outside? One. So ten plus one equals eleven. Nice job. So then, what does seven plus four equal? Eleven. Okay. Now let's try the one where we find the number bonds. So here's the four. Do you remember how many, how much more three is, the seven is missing to make 10? <laughs> yes, Miss, you accidentally said it, it's three. So three plus one is four. So then if we circle that, that makes 10 because we know seven, eight, nine, 10. So three plus seven is 10. So what's left? one so then it goes here 10 plus 1 equals 11 so then 7 plus 4 equals 11 nice alrighty so now this is what we're doing so I'm moving my video all the way in the bottom so that you can see the whole screen okay so it says match the equal expressions Oof. So it's nine 
plus four, and I have to find the one that matches. Is it 10 plus two? Or is it 10 plus three? Or is it 10 plus one? So if you want, you can go ahead and get a piece of paper and your pencil, or if you have a whiteboard, you can do that. And go ahead and copy these just like that. Now we have them side by side. And then I want you to match them by connecting them with a line, okay? And when you're done, you can go ahead and unpause the video and check if you did them correctly, okay? So go ahead and pause it, work on your matching, and then unpause when you're ready. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see if you got them correct. So nine plus four. So how many does nine need to make 10? One more. So if I take one away from four, it becomes three. So it'd be 10 plus three. Good job. Now, what is four plus eight? Four plus eight, how, much, how many more does eight need to be 10? Two. So if I take away two from four, four becomes two. So it would be 10 plus two. Okay, now what does seven plus four make? That's hard, right? How many does seven need to become 10? It needs three more. So if we take three away from four, how many is left over? One. So 10 plus one. So the seven plus four is equal to 10 plus one. Nice work. And did you notice that all of these were adding four? Yeah, see, nine plus four, the eight and the four, and the seven plus the four. And look, nine plus four is 10 plus three, eight plus four is 10 plus two, and seven plus four is 10 plus one. Nice. Alrighty. Let's do one. Let's do all of these together. Okay. So on the back of your piece of paper, you can go ahead and copy all of these, write them down, and then go ahead and match them to the ones you think they go with. Okay. And so you can go ahead and pause the video, copy them and solve them, and then go ahead and unpause once you're done so that we can check them together. Okay, so let's check them. Let's see, nine plus three. So if I take one away from three, it leaves me with two, so 10 plus two. Which one of these is 10 plus Two, right here. So nine plus three is equal to 10 plus two. What about five plus eight? So if I take away two from five, I'm left with, so if I take two away from five, I'm left with three. So 10 plus a three, that one, 10 plus three. Alrighty, so nine plus six. Nine needs one more to make 10. And I take one away from six, that makes it five. So 10 plus five, that one. Okay, the last one is four plus seven. So if I have to make seven into 10, I would take away three and give it to seven to make 10. So if I take three away from four, that leaves with 
one, right? So it'd be 10 plus one. All right, nice work. Now it says, complete the addition sentences to make them true. Ooh. So it's nine plus two. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and make my screen bigger so that we can do this problem together. Ready? I'm going to write on my whiteboard. I'm going to show you. Here we go. I have nine plus two. So, I am going to go ahead use the strategy that we've been using. So I know that nine needs one more, right? So I'm gonna break the two apart and I'm gonna take one out. Yep, yeah, you see that? And then I know that one plus one makes two. So nine would be 10 plus one is equal to 11. 10 plus one. So then nine plus two is 11. That's nice work. So first graders, here are some problems that you can go ahead and copy down on a piece of paper and you can practice them as homework and thank you. Okay, so go ahead and copy them down so you can pause and unpause when you're ready, okay? Well, there we go. That's it for today. That was your homework. Now, thank you so much for letting me be your teacher today. I had a fun time, so I hope I get to teach you next time. Bye, first grade.